Howdy folks, Snorlag here. <coughs> Happy Christmas and Merry New Year. Wait, no. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and all that crap. Even though that was almost, yeah, a few weeks ago, I guess. Happy New Year, too. Uh, I haven't really been doing Let's Plays this year, last year, at all. Because, internet at the house, because we're in, like, the middle of freaking nowhere is really bad. It's not the download speed, it's the upload speed. Five megabytes. Now, well, yeah, five megabyte video. Five minute, sorry, minute video takes about an hour. And most of my videos are like 15, 20 minutes. So it would take a long time to upload a single part. Not to mention, mic I was using, totally gone. It imploded. Apparently, that's a common thing for that brand of mic to do, to just implode. Got a new mic. Doesn't really work worth a shit. When it does work, it's very, very quiet, and you can barely goddamn hear me. And I'm, I'm talking worse than the other one was. The other one was, you were very, very quiet, but at least you could still hear me. Right now, I have some kind of a thing. Uh, so, I will probably be hacking sack in bed. Of course, my computer is right next to the bed, so... Yeah. As far as Christmas gifts go, I got lots of neat stuff. Most of it I got myself because people decided, instead of putting effort forth, to getting me, like, stuff that they think I might like, they just went here, have some money. Which I don't mind, it's still getting me something. At least they put the effort into getting me something. But, uh, yeah. Right now I've been, uh, I've got some stuff on good old games. Wizardry 6, 7, and 8. Yeah. Punching myself right in the balls for that one. And it's not even the difficulty of some of them, just this, just trying to play, forgetting to save after you've made progress, and then game crash. Mmm, game crash. I, eight out of the three of them is probably my favorite. It's more advanced technologically than the other two. And that's, like, in-game story-wise, they're more advanced because you have spaceships and things than the other ones. And the graphics don't look like they're from a DOS game from, like, the 70s. I'm sorry. Wizardry 6, I like the game. Even though it's difficult and buggy as all goddamn hell. The graphics, though. I'm not a big graphics person. The graphics on Wizardry 6 look like a old, old DOS game from the 80s, 70s, 80s. And it was a mid-90s game as far as I know. I mean, look at some of the 90s games. They, they, they have some pretty good graphics compared to Wizardry 6. And Wizardry 7 is not really that much better than Wizardry 8 is actually pretty decent looking compared to the other two. I don't want to gouge my eyes out. But yeah, also got my magic collection, which is one through six. Another series that's harder than freaking hell. However, graphics wise, the, the Mind Magic games are pretty good compared to the Wizardry game. Though, so, Wizardry, you get it for the difficulty and dungeon crawling, not its graphical capability. Anyways, also grabbed uh, Left 4 Dead 2 when it was free on Christmas because. I got up early and checked Steam to see if anything was on sale, because I had one. I saw it was free, I grabbed it. So I've been playing that a little bit, checking mods and things for it. Um, if I get a mic, 
that actually works half the shit decently. I may do one of my new Steam games I got. I got Shadowrun Returns, which I've actually been able to go through the entire game and beat it twice with different builds. Shadowrun Returns is awesome. If you, it's it's a lot different than the Genesis or the Super Nintendo one. If you liked them, you might like this. It is. I'm trying to think of how to word it. It's turn-based and tactical. Think of, uh, it's kind of like Jagged Alliance. You know how it's turn-based. You move around on squares, and then you get a turn, enemies get a turn. And then it's also, you know, you have a percentage to hit things. You have different stats and things. But this is not like Jagged Alliance because you can, well make it through the game without needing to not lose character. There's also a lot of other stuff to it, but uh, you don't really play Shadowrun for the combat, at least I don't. I like the story and the setting, because it's a very, I want to say high-tech, but it's not the te high techness. it's the whole, everybody's who isn't somebody big. They're just in a shit situation. And everybody else is trying to crawl their way through the shit. And these shadow runners just have to work together to crawl through the shit together. You know. Anyways, Shadowrun Returns is awesome. I might be doing that if I can get a new mic. Which, yeah, I have one. It's just not good. I can't complain because it was given to me for free. So I could use it. To whatever. It just doesn't work for what we got, I got it for. I just it, it it works just not good enough for like anything like talking and stuff. I also have webcam now, which no, I I no will not be recording myself while recording games. No uh uh. This right here is what you'll you'll see from from like whatever also, Christmas hat. I'm wearing this from Thanksgiving day after day I got home from Thanksgiving dinner. To I'm gonna be wearing it till my birthday, which is the 22nd. If anybody gets me anything, I will hunt you down and stab you. Not really, but I will be upset at you. I'm one of those people that does not like getting things for his birthday. Don't like getting stuff for Christmas either. I told everybody to not get me shit, but people still get me shit. Because, oh, you're our friend, we have to get you stuff. Okay. Please don't next year, I guess. Please, for the love of God, don't get me shit. Oh well. It, it's nice that people got me stuff anyways. Got me stuff against my will! <laughs> oh well. But yeah, Shadowrun Returns, Left 4 Dead 2, Wizardry, 6 through 8, Point Magic, Gorky 17, um, turn based, tactical turn based, RPG, well, I loosely say RPG. You kill so many monsters, and every monster gives you. Every, you hit a monster, you get experience. You kill a monster, you get more experience. You survive, you get experience. Survive combat, you get experience. And every so many experience, you get a level. A level, you get to put points into stuff. You, one point is one percent up on to hit. One point is one HP more. One point is one of your other stats to go up. Like you can, if um. Calmly in it, so your character doesn't go, oh, fuck, there are monsters, run the hell away, because the game is, um, I want to say it's tactical turn-based survival horror, because everything's monsters, you have limited ammo, limited healing, limited everything, pretty much. And if one of your main characters dies, one of the three you start with, you it's game over. So you have to survive to make it through the game. 
So far, every combat has been a struggle, but you win and it's like, yeah, eat it, bitch. You know? Difficult, but enjoyable. Not like wizardry difficult, where you could run into a combat, they put your entire party to sleep, and then just butcher you. In your sleep, literally. But, it's, it's pretty good. Um, what the hell else did I get? Haven't really played any of the Might and Magic games. Well, I have, but to the point of you get butchered walking out of the first town. Um, I've played pretty much all the Might and Magic games anyways. I just wanted them to say I have them on a current con... You know, not current consoles, current... Working medium. There you go. Um, got Despicable Me Too from my mother. If you haven't seen it, and you just have a chance to watch it, not saying to pirate it or anything, or to just run out and buy that bitch, but if you get a chance to watch it, like it comes on TV or something, just, just, and you have some free time, just watch it. Or if your friend has it and they want to watch it, go watch it with them. It, it is a funny ass movie. I like it. All I'm gonna say is that chicken is bad motherfucker, a. Eh? Yup. That's all I'm gonna say is that chicken is awesome. Now you wonder what the hell is the chicken? Just go watch a damn movie. Oh God, I spoiled it. There's a chicken in the movie. Oh God. Anyways, yeah, I'm a douche. Whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, Left 4 Dead 2, da 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 da. Lots of good old game stuff. Um, trying to think, I got Dreamfall. Haven't really got into it, played it for like 15, 20 minutes just to get to a save point. Not really my kind of thing. I, it doesn't cost much, it's like couple bucks. And Big told me he enjoyed the, the Big Fall game, Dream Fall game, so I figured I'd give it a try. You know. <clears throat> um, trying to think what the hell else I got. Uh, oh. I got Rums of Arcania, the, the, the whole, the all three games. Um, friends sent me Rogue Legacy. I've been playing that. Don't expect a let's play of that, please, for the love of God. That game is hard as fuck for me, anyways. Because I'm, I'm at the beginning. It's like I could do this, and then when you get to a certain point, when you have to have lots and lots of money to get any progress, I'm like fuck because I'm not good at the game, not to, not, not to mention the game runs laggy on my computer, because my computer is like eight goddamn years old. And it's not because the game is... I'm sorry, they could have done better with it. They have layers with their graphics, and... It's not bad if you get a, like, if you know how Road Legacy works, you can get different, um, like, genetic things for your characters, which are randomly generated. One of the things is if you get, like, um, you can't see very far, or you can only see in two dimensions, or blah, 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 anything that, that kind of changes how the screen works. It doesn't change it, it just adds another layer over it. Which lags it more. So if I get like, let's say you can't see very far, it's like it adds a layer around my character that makes everything all pixelated. More pixelated than it is. It's just really... Yeah, it's, it's hard to play like that. Um, oh, I also got a game called Ghostmaster. 
game ending is a cliffhanger. As far as they know, they aren't going to make another game. Pisses me the fuck off. But it, the game itself is very fun. You can't really die, per se. You can lose, because each of the, like, the houses and the places if you go to haunt, if there's, like, mission objectives. If you scare away all your people before completing your mission objectives, you lose. But normally the mission objective is to scare anybody, everybody away anyway. Um, also, grab the copy of Faster Than Light. Not my cup of tea. The game I find is quite bullshit and difficulty. At least, and maybe it is at the beginning. Because, or maybe I've just been having bad luck in the game. It's randomly generated. Um, I go out with my ship. I run into a guy with three shields in the first fucking map. I can't damage him. I can... I can hit him with missiles, but then I keep running into guys like that, and I run out of missiles, and I have to keep running for battles, and if you run from battles in that game, you don't get scrap, you can't upgrade because you don't have scrap, and then later guys who have four shields or have lots and lots of lasers so they can burst through your shields and just beat your ass with a, like a drum, because they have multiple fucking lasers and shit. Yeah, it's just, it's not enjoyable. I'm guessing if maybe I'll play it some more, and it will be different. Uh, but, yeah. Um, also got Nox from a buddy on Twitter. Um, and Neverwinter Nights 2, the complete edition, which is Neverwinter Nights 2. Uh, I can't remember the expansions, but both expansions and then it came with an update patch. So it's fully updated. I could play online. Probably won't play online. Not really an online playing type of person. Um, but back in the day I used to land party it. Oh, yeah. So I might, uh, if I can ever get the fellas around, um, my my local friends might all in and party that shit because never one our nights to is fun because you have lots of classes because it's more than just the base core classes. They also added in where you can play as a warlock and a shaman and I can't remember a favorite no devout. I can't remember what the name of it is, but it's it's like a cleric, but instead of getting spells through wisdom, you get spells through charisma. Like a, it's like a sorcerer to a wizard is this class to the cleric, and the shaman is kind of like that too. He's the sorcerer of the druid. Of course, he also has different things, like he doesn't get an animal companion, he gets like, t he's able to talk to spirits, and he gets a spirit companion instead of an animal companion, I think. It has been a couple of years since I've played it, so don't quote me on that. Um, I got, I also have Darkstone. It, uh, first time I played Darkstone was on the PlayStation. It's kind of like Diablo. Kind of. Because it's kind of the hack and slash type of thing. There's also Dark, uh, yeah, Dark Stone. And then I got uh, Forgotten Realms Demon Stone. Which, it runs good. I thought it wasn't going to because normally PS2 games on my computer run very slow and stupid. But Demon Stone seems to run fine. Um... But I, I'm not talking about running PS2 Demon Stone. No, no, no. I got the... There's a copy for the, the PC, too. Um, it runs pretty good. I like it. It's rather difficult. 
with the keyboard. The controller version wasn't too bad, but it's still pretty hard at points. Um, Demon Stone takes place in Forgotten Realms, blah blah blah. Um, basically the story is you break the Demon Stone and it unleashes the forces of unyielding law and unwavering chaos. Or, the, basically armies that are bent on enforcing the law of their plane of law, the the gif, and the like the king of the slod, which wants to enforce, well, not enforce, but create chaos in the world, and just destroy all of the law. Um, and they fight each other, and the only thing keeping them from destroying Faerun, according to the game, is each other. So basically, you have to try to fix what you did, because you ended up breaking the Demon Stone. 